Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making candied sweet potatoes. So these are going to be baked in the oven and you're going to need to preheat to 400 degrees because once it goes in it's going to be there for at least 40 minutes to cook through. Because we're doing this old school real, we are using real sweet potatoes, not anything canned, not anything that's already processed or done. We're gonna do this ourselves straight up. And to do this, you're gonna to have to peel sweet potatoes and you're gonna to have to, you know, mix this up. It's really a great treat to eat these though because they have such a great flavor and it's not like something where you're opening a can and you get this pre-sweetened, syrupy, awkward tasting stuff. This is straight from the sweet potato with some added stuff like, I add maple syrup to mine and some seasonings and it's just a great taste. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a half a cup of unsalted butter, which has been melted. To this, we are gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm using one teaspoon of cinnamon sugar. An eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. To this, we're adding one and a half teaspoons of maple syrup. And then to that, we're gonna add two thirds cup of brown sugar. And when we get this all into our mixing bowl or whatever you're using, we're gonna mix it together. You wanna stir this for a while just because of the fact that you have the brown sugar and everything in here, you need to really get this stirred up, especially for that and the cinnamon sugar. You wanna make sure they break down and go into the whole mix and they're not clumping together on the bottom, the sides or whatever. So go ahead, do your best to stir it up. This might take a minute to get it completely incorporated, but what you're making is like this really thick syrupy looking stuff, which is what we're gonna pour over the sweet potatoes to give them that sweet flavor. So mix it up, make sure that it's going. If you have not already, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So like I said, these are cooking for about 40 minutes. So we're gonna take a baking dish and then we're gonna spray some nonstick cooking spray. I say this with what you need to know because if you do not spray that baking dish, this will stick. Um, it's one of those things when you bake it, it's gonna like bake on and it's better to have the nonstick cooking spray on it just to make sure that you can get off this mess and you know if you were doing this around the holidays or Thanksgiving and you were trying to clean up this dish you would probably be thanking me later because it's gonna be a lot easier to clean so we're gonna take our sweet potatoes at this point and we are gonna peel them that means get off all the outside if there are any like spots inside of it that are brown or like you know unusual looking cut them off do not use the tips of the sweet potatoes. You do not want that in there. Um, it's not gonna cook down properly. It's not gonna have a good taste. It's best to discard them. So make sure as you're cutting and peeling that you get rid of the ends first. So that way you don't accidentally use them in what you're doing. Um, and just go through and on each of the sweet potatoes, cut them down. Now, here's the thing. I say in this recipe that you can use four pounds of sweet potatoes to do this. You don't have to use that much if you're not cooking for that many people, or you can add a little extra. The syrup that's in this, the stuff we mixed up, is gonna go for the amount that I'm doing here plus more. Um, it's just one of those things where you have to decide, you know, are you trying to feed a lot of people or just maybe three or four? Because what I'm making up is easy enough to feed maybe three, four people, maybe even five, because you don't really eat a lot of these at one time. So once you get these peeled, we're going to cut them into hunks and we're going to try and get them into at least an inch or so thickness. We want to make sure they cook through because this is just like putting a potato in the oven or something and you want to bake it. You want to make sure that it cooks through completely so that way it's tender and easy to eat and not crunchy or hard in spots like normal. So that's why we're going to have it in the oven for at least 40 minutes. We just want to make sure that as it's cooking, it cooks through completely. Now, being that it's gonna be sitting in this heavy syrupy mixture, that's gonna help it to cook. So that in itself is gonna be a blessing in disguise there because it's just gonna help it out. So go through, cut up all of your sweet potatoes and we will move on to the next step in just a moment.
Now, as I said, when he's going in the oven, they're baking for 40 minutes. You do need to go in periodically, about every like 12 minutes or something, and stir this up a little bit just to make sure that the syrupy coating goes completely around them as they're baking. It's just something to keep you on the good side of getting them cooked because whatever's in the syrup itself is going to cook a lot better than what's sticking above it. So, transfer your sweet potatoes into your baking container and just pile them into it and once they're in there try to just spread them to where they coat the whole bottom if some stick up a little bit higher that's perfectly fine and then when we get them all in there we're going to add the syrupy mixture that we made over top of them and we're just going to work it around in and then once we get it in completely we're going to stir them up to make sure they get coated in it So you can see there's quite a bit of this mixture poured over top of these. It's going to coat everything. And as I said, if you needed to add an extra sweet potato or so, it's perfectly fine. It's going to work. So once we get this all stirred up, it's going to go into the oven. We're going to bring it out every 12 minutes, mix it up a little bit. And then we get around to like the last five minutes. Um, I'm going to throw something a little non-traditional with sweet potatoes in it. We're going to throw some marshmallows on top just for the fact that we want them to be on top of there for extra added sweetness. And you're only going to do that in probably about the last five minutes. And you're going to use about a cup of them. But just realize these will melt down a bit and some of them will go down into the syrup. So when it comes out in the end, it will not have as much as what you poured on to begin with because they will melt down. So as you can see, I'm mixing mine up after being in there for you know a while, probably 12 minutes at this point. Then it's going back in the oven. And, and like I said, the last five minutes or so, it's about time for those marshmallows. Because these are cooking up quite nicely. So when you put your marshmallows on, just distribute them all across the top of here as best you can. Um, and they're just gonna like coat down into the actual mixture that's underneath as they start to melt as well. And we put it back in the oven for the last five minutes. And when it comes back from the oven, it looks something like this. And this has such an amazing, great taste. And it's welcome anytime, whether it's like a Thanksgiving meal or any day, if you just like it. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks, which are available in bookstores worldwide. The first is about everyday cooking. The second is all about baking. Have a great day.